Introduction to Classroom Management for ESL Teachers Successful teaching often depends on the ability of the teacher to manage the classroom. The frequent occurrence of disciplinary problems and poor structure of the classroom can have a considerable effect on teaching and learning. Teachers are responsible for managing and monitoring students for a better teaching, learning environment. Classroom management is still considered an essential part of teaching and learning activities. It may vary in arrangement and development. It refers to the infrastructure, space, lights, furniture, boards, etc. and the methods, strategies, and skills that teachers use to maintain a classroom environment which results in success for the students. Classroom management is a process of organizing and conducting a class that includes physical infrastructure of the classroom, time management, student involvement, teaching aids, student engagement, and classroom communication. A classroom represents a real-life situation and a child performs the fundamental activities of our real civilization. It is a complete academic scenario. Individuals must share common aids, beliefs, aspirations, and knowledge to form a human community. Notes that the opposite of classroom order is anarchy, and neither students nor teachers can accomplish goals in an anarchistic environment. Classroom Management and the Teacher Teachers play a pivotal role in classroom management and therefore they are responsible for creating a well-organized classroom in which students can succeed. However, an effective classroom environment does not appear everywhere. Teachers have to invest a great deal of time and effort in creating it. Teachers are required to have certain organizational skills and techniques in managing a multitude of tasks and situations that can occur at any time in the classroom. From this definition, we can say that a language teacher should be well-trained and skilled professionals to manage the language class effectively and get better achievement in learning English as a second language. Similarly, the behavior of the teacher also influences the management of the classroom. The teacher's behavior can be both desirable and undesirable but desirable or preferable behaviors are effective and undesirable behaviors are ineffective for the classroom management and teaching learning process. Appealing behaviors of a teacher can draw the attention of students and establish a good rapport between the teacher and students. This kind of good and supportive relationship makes suitable classroom management. The Main Areas of Classroom Management it is very essential for teachers to make effective classroom management strategies so that students are keen on learning. A clear description of common classroom management. Group and seating, groups should be formed. Seats should be arranged and rearrangement from time to time. After completing the activities, the class should be reformed. Teachers have a number of approaches to seating arrangements in their classroom. It may differ on the basis of person, place, economy, culture, space, etc. Teachers have a role to play in classroom management, these involve the management of activities in the classroom management which includes 1. All activities should be properly sequenced. 2. Set up activities. 3. Give instructions. 4. Monitor activities. 5. Allocate time for activities. 6. Bring activities to an end. Authority. Teacher should establish and use authority as appropriate to hold the attention of the class. Critical moments. Maintain the appropriate discipline during the lesson. Tools and techniques. Use the board and other classroom equipment or aids. Use gestures to help the clarity of instructions and explanations. Speak clearly at an appropriate volume and speed. Working with students, spread your attention evenly and appropriately. Use intuition to gauge what students are feeling. Elicit feedback from students. Really listen to students. Classroom management and motivation. There is a close relationship between classroom management and motivation. Teachers, who are good managers, Create environments for motivation to arouse students' interests, guide them to behave well and encourage them to learn effectively. 
Motivation is a temporal and dynamic state that should not be confused with personality or emotion. Simply, motivation is having the desire to do something. Motivation can be categorized into two types, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is internal motivation, which is evident when people do an activity for its own sake, without some obvious external rewards. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation is obvious when there is an external reward. It comes into play when a person is compelled to do something or act a certain way because of factors external to him or her such as money, gifts or good grades. There is a trend of appreciating, giving reward or punishment, etc. Therefore, effective classroom management is closely related to students' motivation. The more motivation students have, the more effective classroom management is. Students can be motivated by many factors including physical, emotional and social needs. Teachers should try hard to motivate their students by satisfying their needs and interests. Classroom management is essential. In conclusion, suggestions are forwarded to teachers and their classrooms. The teacher should be constructive in nature to manage the classroom and encourage the students for creative activities. Several classes are required to be divided further for effective classroom management. Teachers can prepare some teaching materials themselves and they can employ the students to do such works. Teachers should be active in using teaching materials for different purposes. Teachers should create an English-speaking environment in the classroom and around the school. Teachers should be close to modern technology. Teachers should be active, energetic, broad-minded and tricky to maintain discipline in the class. Motivation should be provided to the attention of seeking students. They need to possess commanding or authoritative performance to control the class. They should be fair to every student and show equal behavior. Students should be motivated to enhance a suitable classroom environment. Are you ready to take a TEFL course? Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.